Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm going to vibe with you today. Happy Saturday. Hope you had a great week. And I hope that you're relaxing this weekend. I'm feeling good. Going through the emotional roller coaster. But what I love about the emotional roller coaster is that it's always going up. Because I just believe that the test comes no matter what. As soon as you have a breakthrough, something negative is going to come your way. But if you're always building, if you're always grinding and pushing towards something better, it's going to get better. And that's a testament of my life and this week. And I'm excited for me. I'm excited for you. And uh, yeah, let's, 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 let's bow together. Welcome, y'all. I am the chief NFT strategist, gang, gang in the building. How are you today? How's your Saturday going? How is your life going? Are you relaxing this weekend? Uh, me, I got some rest. I haven't been sleeping the best lately. It's been a lot going on. As I mentioned in the intro that uh, I've had an emotional field week. Uh, I started out going, even before I went to Emerge, I had some things happen last weekend that that were amazing for me personally, um, amazing for me and my family. And uh, so I started out the week with a big old smile. And then I uh, go to Emerge. I talk, told you guys about the Emerge America's conference uh, the technology conference in uh, Miami. I didn't get a chance to interview anyone. Uh, the way I was set up, it wasn't really set up for interviews. Um, I attended a conference many years ago and they actually had interview rooms and breakout rooms. Uh, this wasn't set up like that. So that would definitely be my feedback for Emerge. I didn't get a chance to uh, talk to anyone on that level, but it was still a lot of good information that I took in. But anyway, went went there. And anytime I go to a conference, and I suggest you go to conferences as well, uh, some of the best conferences are when you go out of your, your state or even out of the country. So definitely go there. It's a lot to learn. Uh, you meet people from all over with different ideas. They're not so much your direct competition, depending on what you do. So they're willing to share. And oftentimes, I learn a great deal when I go to conferences. So I'm motivated. I'm hearing some things. Um, and, and then I love hear, talking, uh, hearing people talk about the future, what's to come, because that helps me tune up my leadership skills. It lets me focus on what I need to be thinking about and um, really, really working towards. So um, I'm always motivated when I hear that type of talk. So naturally, like good weekend before, I'm feeling good. The conference, I'm feeling good because I'm learning, I'm networking. I'm meeting like-minded people, so I'm feeling good. And then I got a big announcement. Uh, and I can't tell you what that announcement is, but it was one of the best news I got in a long time. So clap it up. I felt great. I felt great. And then that's when the emotional roller coaster started. Um, I felt great, extremely excited, something I've been waiting for for a long time. And then uh, the test came. And the drama came, and uh, yeah, I had to, I had to like dodge and weave and, and, and fight, and and then then block, and then took a couple hits. It's hurting a little bit, uh, but yeah, yeah. So I took that, and um, but but you know, overall the week has been great. Um, I got confirmation that body is going live May first. Body is back yes 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 uh, i've been going hard with the development team i've been going hard with the marketing team i've been going hard with the designers i've been going hard with the seo guys i've been going hard with the analytical guys i've been going hard with the website guys i mean and what i think is happening is that we're becoming one cohesive unit um a lot of these 
these people that I work with, like they're very, very talented, smart people. They work with other clients. They work with other companies. Um, and it's my job. I got to pull them all together. Like I get it. You work with this person or that person, but body, we the shit, uh, excuse my language. Um, this is where you need to be. So it's my job to really, really make them feel like they're a part of something. Uh, make them feel like they're a part of something uh, great. Make them part of, feel like they're a part of something that is going to change an industry. And I think I'm doing a pretty good job. So I got the news about that. So I've been excited about that. And obviously, uh, when you set a goal like that, where um, you're aggressively going after uh, something to get done. Obviously, there's stress and there's uh, deadlines and things that you got to meet. So obviously, that's a different level of pressure that you're putting on yourself. But the first, May 1st, is going to be the launch for uh, a limited number of people. And then the actual launch date is going to be Cinco de Mayo, May 5th, May 5th, May 5th. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to launch then. And uh, so we're revving up for that. So I got a lot of work to do, a lot of things to get done. Uh, but I'm super duper excited. On top of that, we're relaunching our Discord server uh, where we uh, pretty much uh, discuss the uh, bar game NFT. The name is changing from bar game uh, to bar game powered by body. You'll see a lot of integration. You'll see how uh, we're changing it up. You'll see how it's going to run in parallel to certain things that we're doing with body. So super duper excited about that. But once again, it's a lot of work. We're getting some videos, some some designs, a lot of different things getting done. So, um, yeah, today I'm going to talk about uh, a couple NFT things. But before I do that, let me do this. So be sure to go out and mint you a bar game NFT. Uh, we're for we're priced at 0.85 ETH. Definitely, definitely uh, check that out. Let me share my screen. First things first. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Coinbase launches NFT marketplace in beta. I actually uh, signed up for mine. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Let me actually show you what it looks like. Uh, well, let me read this first. Tesla can crack open their crypto wallets to buy or sell digital art. Uh, Coinbase has its NFT marketplace up and running in beta. Uh, beta mode, the company shared in a blog post Wednesday last fall, the cryptocurrency exchange platform announced its entry into the NFT market and its intention to create a peer-to-peer -peer interface for artists and buyers. When it launches in full, users will be able to buy and sell non-fungible tokens cryptocurrency and other forms of payment that's a big thing other forms of payment uh, built on the ethereum blockchain the beta version of the marketplace features digital works that you can browse from artists such as cool cats doodles and Azur azuki coinbase is currently selecting beta testers from its white wait list and will not charge transaction fees for purchases that's good to know uh, testers are able to set up profiles and buy or sell NFTs with their crypto wallets. They can also use social tools to converse with fellow users and build communities on the platform. Despite some high profile losses in the NFT market, over 2.4 billion worth of tokens were traded on NFT exchange OpenSea in March, up from 96 million in April last year. So NFT sales have slowed. Uh, crypto uh, Coinbase has come out a lot later than they initially expected. I thought it was going to be at the beginning of the year. But this is good news for the NFT community, the crypto community, uh, because um, OpenSea needed some competition. I've reported a lot on a lot of different uh, attacks and scams and certain things that's happening in OpenSea. And I think that it's a great time now for Coinbase to come out, uh, be the rival, be the alternative, give people the opportunity to um, do the things that we do in the NFT space on another marketplace. So I'm super duper excited for that. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Let me show you what it looks like. 
So yeah, I, I was one of the uh, I was on the wait list, so I did get a chance to join. Um, but yeah, this is the page you see. That's World of Women. I mean, I'm sorry, that's World of Women Galaxy Women and Weapons Dead Fellas. Click this. You can shop NFTs. Um, I got to get used to it because I got to see how um, they have it laid out. Let's see, Moonbirds. That's a very hot NFT right now. Um, buy now. They said you could buy now with no fees, so that's that's interesting. I don't know. My internet's going pretty slow. Maybe it's their site going slow. Let's hit discover. Okay. Well, well, I tried. It is beta. Okay, it is beta. So, but you can see, uh, it's supposed to be more interactive. Like you said, peer to peer. What's trending right now? Okay, okay, okay. Moonbirds, Mutinated Yacht Club. So I got to play around with it. Uh, I haven't had a chance to really, really go and and really, really um, break down what is what. But 0% Coinbase fees for a limited time. So shoot, I may need to be buying some things. So, But there you go. There you have it. Uh, you see they're focusing some of the bigger um nft collections build your community uh find and follow creators oh so this is a big this is a big thing uh this is pretty cool uh, you get to follow like the creators of certain projects that you like uh so yeah no this looks dope this looks dope so super excited about that um super excited about that coinbase is finally uh coming out there in beta i showed you a little bit of how it looks so uh check that out uh if you're not on the wait list i think you can still get in the wait list um it might be too late i don't know but definitely get on the wait list so you can check it out so let me share another article a law professor explains how blockchains and nfts don't protect virtual property uh the term and service for each metaverse platform are centralized and are under the complete control of a single company a major problem for legal ownership in 2021 investment firm bought 2,000 acres of real estate for about four million dollars normally this would not make headlines but in the case the land was virtual it existed only in the metaverse platform called the sandbox but by by buying 792 nfts on the ethereum blockchain the firm then owned the equivalent of 1200 city blocks but did it it turns out that the legal ownership in the metaverse is not that simple the prevailing but legally pro problematic narrative among crypto enthusiasts is that nfts allow true ownership of digital items in the metaverse for two reasons decentralization and inter uh, interoper interoperability god leave some of these big words these two Technological features have led some to claim that tokens provide indisputable proof of ownership, which can be used across various metaverse apps. Let me stop this. Uh, metaverse apps, environments, and games. Because of this decentralization, some also claim that buying and selling virtual items can be done on the blockchain itself for whatever price you want without any person or any company's permission. Despite these claims, the legal status of virtual owners is significantly more complicated. In fact, the current ownership of metaverse assets is not governed by property law at all, but rather by contract law. As a legal scholar who studies property law, tech policy, and legal ownership, I believe that what many companies are calling ownership in the metaverse is not the same as ownership in the physical world, and consumers are at risk of being swindled. Hmm. What do you guys think about that? I would love to hear your thoughts on that. Uh, I would love to get your perspective. Um, it's a lot of things up in the air. Uh, one of the things I've learned in my time of investing, um, I try to stay away from what's trending because uh, if you weren't first in, uh, uh, oftentimes you're going to get burned. And I'm getting too old to get burnt. <laughs> I'm too old to be getting burnt. So 
Now I just kind of sit back and watch a little bit, understand, study, and learn. Um, if you really, really see how I move and do things, whether it's with body, uh, whether it's, um, you know, just building something. Like I didn't want to just build the trendy thing that come and go. I want to build something that is here to last. And ultimately, when you do something like that, it takes a little bit of time. Now, I will say I kind of rushed a little bit with the bargain NFT, um, but always had the idea of how I wanted to do it long term. Um, but for various reasons, I felt like I had to get it out the door. In hindsight, I probably should have waited a little bit to to launch it around the time that the uh, body was coming out, which I did think it was coming out at the end of the year. So but anyway, I've learned a lot. I really have discovered that, um, you know, one thing with body, um, you know, we're creating uh, an, an innovative product for the bar and restaurant industry. And I think that uh, the bar game is our Web3 component and it's going to take us even further. So the whole strategy has already always been in my head, but now it's coming together where it's going to be easily explained. People will understand it and they'll see what we're ultimately doing in terms of taking that space uh, to another level. So super duper excited about that. But yes, uh, I'm going to leave with these words. Just remember that um, even after you have that breakthrough, the tests are going to still come. Uh, I think we have to understand that success is not a point in time. It's not a moment. Uh, it's a continuous thing. And I think you got to understand that the challenges are never going to stop, even when the money, the bag comes in or you find the person of your dreams. Understand that the problem is going to come. You got to keep fighting. I always say you can't get too high. You can't get too low. You got to keep it mellow, you know. And yes, um, I'm super duper excited, man. Life is um, coming full circle in the sense that um, I, I was thinking back about my life the other night. I had a few drinks and usually when I have a few drinks, I'm, I'm, um, I'm more emotional. And, um, I was just thinking, man, in my life, I have achieved pretty much everything I put my mind to. Now this last thing, and it's not last thing. Obviously I got more things that I want to get done, but you know, things like body building a technology company. I never came with a small mindset. I never came with the idea that I'm just going to come here and make some money. No, I came into this uh, looking to change an industry that I love. And um, yeah, I mean, this this last one's big. And, and sometimes I question, like, why is it my goal? Am I doing this because I need validation from others? Am I doing this because I want my respect? Am I doing this because of what? Like, is, is my why uh, important enough for me to continue to do something like this, which is a lot more challenging than anything else that I've ever done. And I say yes, because I remember since I was a little bitty uh, Goldie, a little bitty kid, I've always said I'm just as capable as the next person. Uh, why not me? Why can't I do it? You know, I don't care my the environment I came from. I don't care of my limitations in my family dynamic. I don't care about my limitations in my money dynamic. Um, I'm just as capable. And if I'm willing to work and, 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 and grind and think and put it in my mind that I can accomplish it, and accomplish it I can accomplish it. So, um, no, there's no stopping. There's no stopping. Um, and with all that being said, I also think that um, I do believe in uh, true freedom and I do believe in being completely happy. I believe that you could build something great and you can have a great family uh, dynamic as well oftentimes people say yeah you got if you have one you got to give up the other and i don't think that and um you know i think that you could have it all and that's what i'm working towards so i hope that you have an amazing weekend have a great saturday go out and relax rest it's sunny as crap out here in uh, florida it's a little windy uh, but the weather is great probably gonna take the kids out ride the bikes uh may go to the park uh, and then uh, for me, I got to do more work, 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 work. Next week I'm traveling, so it's no stopping. And um, I know I may seem a little tired. I actually left my coffee in the other room, but I feel amazing. And um, I'm just laser focused. So anyway, 
Y'all have a great day, and I will see you soon.